Okay. Okay. So, hi. <laughs> we are driving to one infinite loop. Uh, actually, I'm getting some some shopping done. I need some new T-shirts with Apple logos, and I've got some uh, Italian slash United Kingdom friends who are uh, taking me by sit car, and they find it really hilarious. <laughs> well, I find it really hilarious to be filmed on your GoPro camera. <laughs> so, uh, hey, let's let's start from the beginning. You were saying originally uh, you were in Italy and you didn't yeah. like the opportunities there, so you moved to the UK. Yeah, started out, started out as a flash action action script developer, and then somehow you came to your senses and started uh, developing for the Apple platform, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, so while I was working for this agency called the KQA, um, I basically took an internal course uh, with a guy there that was teaching object, object SC and yeah, I loved it. So I did it. And was that Mac or iOS? iOS. Did, did you ever start with Mac or? Uh, no. You have? Yeah, he did. I started with Mac. So, so how was your story compared to this? Oh, my story. I left Italy for the same reason, but just one year ago. And last year, actually, they had the same conference. So, WC, I met AKQA. My bosses, basically. Yeah. And they hired me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we met there. Mm -hmm. And my story is, so, five years ago, I started with Mac at school, because one of my teachers was a Mac developer. And after one year, I think, or two, uh, the iPhone was announced. So I started with Objective-C just for iOS. And I worked with Italian agency mm -hmm. to, to make apps just for Italian market. And for Sky, you know, um, and actually, I started with them, a new company. So what's the name of the company, can you say? Oh, yeah, yeah, Flubber Media. How, how do you say uh, that? Show him the, the business, card business card because every time we are in trouble when we try to <laughs> say Actually, we discovered that American people laugh at that. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it, it's, it's like Flubber. It's Flubber. like, Flubber. like Media. something yeah. really fat that we yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. Flubber. Yeah, so, a Flubber. 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 Media, yeah. It says that one. If you can see that. Maurizio Cremaschi, exactly. founder, yeah. Yeah. Flubber Media, and it's flubbermedia.com. And so, what does Flubber, what do you do at Flubber Media? So the thing is, um, we did, you know, it's always better when you work on your own project because I mean you can have more fun. Mm. Uh, so if you got good ideas, we thought we could try to just develop those idea and market them directly on, on the iTunes store, on the App Store. Mm. Uh, so we said, okay, let's try, let's join our efforts and let's see what we can do. And the idea is just to build like a number of entertaining, entertaining apps um, and, and yeah, and see how it goes. So the concept of Flava is to just have some idea, make them into apps. Yeah. yeah. So is it games or productivity or uh, special or whatever? Entertainment that. Mm -hmm. And the first one is photography. Is kind of photography. Yeah. And an Instagram killer. No, <laughs> no, 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 it's not a torture for the moment. Oh, I'm going to like show you. Uh, yeah. It's called stickers. Stickers. Yeah. 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 Stickers. Full, full version. So, stickers. You and, ah, okay. I see I myself. Yeah. And I, I, it, it does motion tracking and yeah. adds, adds something like that. That looks a little gay. Let's try something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the, yeah, that's the, 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 the school eyes. <laughs> and I can make a picture. Yeah. Picture with that and probably that's look at it. Uh, okay. Yeah. How do we get back? This one. So I make it make a picture of myself. <laughs> I hope you can see that with googly eyes. All right. Well, yeah, it does the face detection. It uses basically the iOS five. Is it the regular face detection from iOS? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We want to nice. use. And it, it gives you where the faces are. So. Yeah. Yeah. The face basically detects the faces and the. Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 It's really cool. Hey. The problem is that well, 
not really fun. Yeah, it's, well, it's like very slow. Um, the highs actually are quite correct, the position I mean, but the mouth is not really, so if you move your mouth, it doesn't really update the position of the mouth. I, I don't know well, why. How would you move your mouth? You mind? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it generally stays in the same position in the face. <laughs> yeah, no, it's bad enough, but if you, if you actually you do something like a proper debug and you look where the points are, ah. uh, the mouth is not really on your mouth. So is, is that the reason why you have masks and things over the eyes? We've got actually uh, a couple of um, illustrations that uh, use the mouth point, but they are not really precise. So I can show you one. Yeah, you know, like yeah, a sir. Yeah, go yeah. for it. You know the meme I like a sir. No, I don't have the yeah. meaning. Can detect it ah, in a car. <laughs> yeah, the final detection is actually offset. So you got the preview, but what you see in the preview uh, is not actually the final picture. We do another uh, detection after with a picture that you take, so you get a better result. In, ah, so, in so you just have a live preview. Yeah. But uh, when the, uh, when the you take the picture, light, yeah, you do it again, but with we, higher resolution. Exactly. It's a little bit misleading because people just might end up trying to get, you know, the perfect picture in the preview, but it's I, not I really necessary. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. It. Guys, are we still on the right? Uh, you, you just <laughs> keep on 101. Shall we see? It's just a third of oh, okay. the whole thing. We're good. Okay. Yeah, then, uh, yeah. How it looks really, really nicely lined up. And oh, you really have to do it. Yeah. Uh, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's hey, actually, let's and it works quick. very well also on the iPad. If you read that, try to count on it because you can also have a fist no, I, I, I don't care about this. No, it's just because no, no, it's we need the same controller of Twitter. You build basically the same. Yeah, very nice maybe controller. Not, it's <laughs> uh, are you not the guy, uh, are you the guys who made the uh, uh, reverse engine basically with iOS 4? No, oh, no, 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 no. We can because it's the same. Uh -huh. But is it, is it open source or...? Uh, the contract, we, we'd like to, to open source it, but I think now it's not gonna really... I mean, you know that they said probably in iOS 6 there's gonna be a more deep uh, Facebook integration, so I guess at some point it won't be needed anymore. So. I just tweeted it to myself, yeah. uh, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, it, now let's see, I need to retweet this. Everybody needs to see me with this stuff. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You go, go ahead, so uh, you, you uh, ended up at Flubber. Yeah, so and we basically started this company mm -hmm. together. And that's it really, we've been working for the last well, six no, months. I, I don't understand that. You said you started it, or you yeah. started with them? No, no, Flubber Media is our own company. Yeah. It is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we, we founded it. Founders. Ah, okay. So, and and uh, so you are the two founders? Yep. And the, the two only developers. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So far. Yeah. The other people who work at our apps are just designers. Yeah. Just designers. <laughs> just lowly just designers. Only one more than one. Ah, okay. Yeah. And you are Ma Maurizio yeah. Rimaschi. So let me retweet that. Now the whole world knows about <laughs> Flubber. All right. So um, that's one example of of Epsilon. I like it. I think I'll get it. It's going to be really cool, fun, nice one. Uh, any any other projects that you've been working on recently? We've got like three, four other apps in the pipeline, but they are not ready yet. Um, but any, anything that you can preview, or rather not commit to anything. Um, 
the beef as well? Yeah, we, we have, I can show you the results in our course. Set. Yeah. So yeah, the idea is anyway to do something that is fun uh, to use. Um, And something that looks nice because you know if you love apple usually you love like not nicely done nice designs and stuff like that so we are trying to do something that works well it's fun to use and possibly also nice looking so so i have just the results here because we have the back uh, and we you basically use the photo. same technology and yeah. if you choose a f uh, face one of them you get this it's called the same face where's the difference see this one they all have the friend. same face all the same or oh, all the same you, you, or you, all the same uh, you, you <laughs> re re ah, okay automatically <laughs> does it so th these are no that's all the same this one <laughs> so <laughs> that, that's the original and then it has the same picture, but all three guys have the same face. <laughs> but it's, it looks cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> this is a bit off here. It yeah. looks like he's got a double yeah. chin. <laughs> <laughs> but, but still, okay. It's yeah. good, good so the thing is, we spent quite a lot of time working on the API for the first detection. And we found actually a few problems. Um, and we tried to fix them. So just because we spent so much time on it, we said, okay, let's try to do, I mean, just do as many apps as we can. We basically, with knowledge that we've got now on the API. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, that's the reason why we are working as well on this bomb. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, if I may uh, ask, yeah. so are, are you, Making a sufficient uh, income from all your apps, or no way. basically <laughs> still still on your own, yeah. uh, burning some money, yeah. uh, basically working on getting yeah. Yeah. sufficient income that that you can live off that. That's the thing. I mean, um, we haven't released even stickers uh, a long ago, so we haven't actually started to promote it properly. Um, so. Let's say it's, right now it's too early to see if we can make a, a living out of it, I mean, out of our apps, but it's what we are trying to do. But right now we are yeah, so spending we, money. Do you have some somehow uh, something that some supplements your income? Do you do contracting work, for example? Um, kind of. So, um, in my, personally, um, last year when I started to, to do iPhone development, I made an app, that, um, a very simple app, because it, it was kind of hello world of iPhone apps. It was basically a flashlight, a torch, mm -hmm. but um, I marketed, um, I marketed it very well. I mean, I put some proper effort to market it, and it went very, very, very well. Mm -hmm. So thanks to iAd and AdMob and advertising in general, I made. Good money out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so for the moment, I relying on that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, speaking of ads, yeah. So this 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 app, uh, this flashlight app, is a free app. Yeah. Uh, with ads. Yeah. So do you uh, take take ads from multiple networks, yeah. like automatic failover if you yeah. don't get one? Yeah. From well, I, I I use a kind of strange strategy. So the thing is. For that kind of app, you got a, a huge competition, right? Because there are like thousands of similar apps. Mm -hmm. So, to make it successful, uh, what I did was, first of all, um, again, put some effort to make it look nice, work well, uh, without bugs. Just because it's actually, you know, the kind of Hello World apps, mm -hmm. people don't really Many people, many developers don't really care about it, so they just put something in and they hope that it works, just to try it. Mm. And instead, I, I, I basically took a different approach. Was like, I was like, okay, this is my first app that I'm gonna publish. I wanna get it right. So, okay, I did that. And that, I, I think, was one of the reasons why it was successful. 
The other one was that I didn't want to display yards all the time. Mm -hmm. So, as you said, what usually people do is like uh, implement different networks so they can get like a 100% uh, fill rate. Yeah. What I did is uh, was instead to to set it to to have like a 10% fill rate, and in that way it ended up uh, looking like if it was like. Um, completely free and without ads because people got ads just very rarely so it, it looked like it was without ads and you know ads at the end of the day are annoying how, how do you steer it such that you only have like 10% of the time an ad? sorry? Say how, how do you control it that you only have like 10% of the really time? really easy um, I had it's got already a very low fear rate so I just said I had to be the main one and if it fails um, just I allocate like a one to three percent of the requests to the other uh, networks. Mm. So, and so I had is primary? Is primary one um, and, and that's like a couple of percent fill rate or does it? It's very low. It depends on and the country though. Yeah, it depends on the country but generally speaking it's really really low and it's going worse and worse. Um, it's going very very bad I think. Mm. Honestly I believe it's not gonna last for long. Alright. Because and so who's the second network? Um Admob uh, and others? Do you have more than that? Um, I've got mob clicks and what else? Uh, but isn't mob clicks uh, a, a aggregator? Uh, okay, I don't remember now which is the third and the fourth one because I try I tried so many different networks that right now I, mainly I use like for the last year only I had an at mob mm. just recently just because I had went down so much I said okay let's put someone else in but I tried a couple and yeah they are there but I set a very low percentage to, mm. to them and what what why I am asking is uh, I'm also selling components I know and one is the DT banner manager yeah, yeah, yeah. and there yeah. uh, I'm I am quite successful with combining iAd and AdMob. Uh -huh. uh, iAd because it pays really well in the United States. Yeah. AdMob to get the fill rate. Yep. And if if available, uh, I use as a third network MobFox, yep, uh, which is uh, from a, a German young guy. Yeah. Uh, and actually, I also wrote the framework for them. So, yeah. um, or the SDK, so to speak. And they pay really well. So <laughs> I'm doing uh, iAd. Mob Fox and then uh, add mob because if, it, if the first fails, then I, I take one that's good in Europe, mm -hmm. and if that fails, I take one that's good or not good, well, available yeah, everywhere. All right. Yeah, the thing is, it, it, you need. I mean, you need to spend a lot of time trying to. I mean, while you're trying the best networks and see which one works best in one country, which one work, uh, works best in another one. So it's really time consuming. Um, so yeah, I just try to, to set something that is, it works well pretty much everywhere because otherwise I would be like spending days trying to, to optimize each single uh, country, each single network. So I've got a kind of setup that is good pretty much everywhere. And, I try to, to keep it for as long as I can because mm -hmm. otherwise doing changes all the time is really really time consuming just because you have to, to understand the data and wait for it and um, I mean it's just it takes just too long to mm -hmm. so yeah now uh, you both going to WWDC yeah. sure so uh, do you have any kind of uh, hopes or, or wishes that you like of things you like to see Apple put into iOS uh, really quickly, really soon. Go for it. <laughs> uh, in iOS 6, so let's let's see. assume that it is iOS 6. It yeah, could also be iOS, iOS 5.2. Could yeah, yeah. if you if it's just like a minor uh, the, the new iOS, not not an entirely new, but just the next generation could also be 5.2. But everybody says okay, it's iOS 6 because they have seen 
yeah. traces of it in server logs. So let let's assume it's iOS six. So what yeah. should you should Personally, I'd like to see like an API. I think pretty much everyone wants to, to see it. an yeah. API for for Siri. That would be quite interesting. Um, I don't really know how they can manage to do it, but that would be nice. Um, what else? Uh, well, for us, if they can speed up the face detection yeah. API, yeah. that would be great. Well, uh, is the face detection <laughs> API? Uh, part of core image and core image using uh, internally the accelerate framework and the uh, hardware acceleration uh, method so it kind of depends on the CPU that you have. Um, if there's a new CPU in, in the next good. iPhone that, that is uh, quicker with the image uh, functions then that will automatically happen for you. I think just they didn't optimize it um, as much as they could because I've seen stuff working with OpenCV, which is another uh, framework uh, that has also a face detection uh, API. And sometimes it looks like, it's not maybe that precise, but sometimes it looks a little bit faster. So I think they added the face detection in iOS 5, but they didn't work. Um, that much uh, on it, we just put it in. It's just not optimized, I think. Mm -hmm. You can get definitely something So I, are you going it. to a lab and ask if there's anybody from Apple and ask them, did you optimize it? <laughs> you know, it would be a tricky question but to it, ask to <laughs> a developer. It, it could happen Apple. that he says, what, are, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. We worked a year on it and, <laughs> and optimized our asses off. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> It might be. I'm not gonna ask that question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely, I'm not gonna ask it. But I think. Well, you can be dip diplomatic. Like, yeah. is, is the possibility yeah, uh, possibility yeah. of? You did a great job already, but maybe you can, yeah. I don't know. You think about thing. I don't know something else. But yeah, what else, Ben? Um, I don't really know. I don't know because. Fix X code. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to get Xcode 4.4 most likely in Gold yeah. Master, I think. Yeah. If I had yeah. to predict, I would bet, my, bet some money on that. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course, I mean, they release a new version of iOS, they, they have to update also Xcode in some way. So, yeah, definitely that will be. But come on, I mean, I think the latest releases are not that bad. I mean, it's a lot better. Well, of the of the four four, you mean? Um, of the four three, because I, I I seem to be having like one or two crashes every day. Really? Uh, and I think least, it's yeah. it's it's related to using uh, uh, version control. Like if you if you use Git or if you use uh, Subversion, okay. and and Xcode needs to to talk mm, with these. Okay. There's some some race conditions are so probably really hard to work out mm. because. Uh, those kind of, if you are remote controlling uh, scripts, and basically, if I understand correctly, Xcode is running Git or running SVN yeah. mm. in a shell or, or something like that, mm. then oh. that that might take different amounts of time uh, on different machines, so you cannot really nicely uh, track all the, the reasons for the crashes there. Yeah, yeah. Well, we prefer to to keep like version. Um, like Peter, for example, Git. Okay, it's integrated, but we don't use it that much. Uh, from Xcode. Yeah, from Xcode, we prefer to keep it separated. So that's the reason why maybe it's working quite well for. for yeah, but us. still, if you open an Xcode project that has uh, the it where it sees it has a Git structure, yeah, that, then it will try to interface with that. Yeah, definitely it does. I, I, I also uh, most of the time if I do a Git commit or some, something like that, I do that on the, on okay. the command line, yeah. and especially with subversion because uh, it, it is very slow getting kind of this dialogue where it shows you the changes and what files to put in a commit and so on. In subversion I do as being commit and my message and it's done. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I, I do that on the terminal. Okay. Cool. Git is better because there it's only doing a file operation. It's not going to a remote server. Yeah. It's only then if you 
push, keep push Origin Master, or you do it, then, then it goes, yeah. goes to the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know, to be honest, I, I've never had huge crashes with the latest two releases of I don't know, I don't know about you, man. Yeah, I have more crashes, but maybe because my MacBook is old. old. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's really heavy. So what, what do you uh, write code on? You have a MacBook, a large monitor? Uh, no, for the moment we are just using uh, 13 inches. Yeah. Uh, Isn't I, that... I'm, I hope that they uh, announce another new MacBook. Ah, okay, so, so new hardware. Is yeah, what I hope that. Uh, uh, a new iMac or new MacBook or new Mac Pro? What do you... The uh, reason is that uh, we, we are working in London in co-working office, so we can't have a display or uh, an iMac so for a moment I well you can if you have a Kensington lock and yeah but they, not, they, they are not you're not allowed to yeah, in, to leave in medical stuff working in the, ah, you're, yeah, not, so you're not even allowed to leave something there no no all right that's the reason so I really hope that they announce a new MacBook Air mm -hmm. and so you'd, you'd rather go for suboptimal hardware than to maybe get your own office yeah you know, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be honest, we quite like the, the environment of a um, co-working space. Uh, it's nice to be with other people and sometimes have a chat with other developers. So, uh, I mean, it's a good way to meet people and, I don't know, you never know what can come up from, I mean, some big, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> A guy that is just sitting uh, on your side, maybe he's a, I don't know, a designer, and at that point you need a design for your new app, so you can talk to him about your app, and you can show it, and you can ask, oh, do you want to work with us on our app, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's quite, I, I, I honestly prefer to be in a shared office more than being a office where we would be just the two of us. Because I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, if you work in a team with like 10, 15 people, fine. But if you are just two people working together, yeah, it's nice to to have the opportunity to network with other people and maybe share stuff or do a collaboration or I don't know. I feel just better. Otherwise, we would be like in a small uh, room. Uh, looking at each other all the time and, yeah, I mean yeah. <laughs> so yeah oh Fabrizio didn't you shower today yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's, it's something to be said uh, if you are a, a really small group to have a, a somewhere contact, around you yeah. yeah like people you can tap into yeah uh, and, and basically just have have a sounding board like let me show you my latest app Maybe yeah, you've got some ideas, exactly. or maybe you can even uh, do Work the design. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, cool. yeah. Um, we decided to be here uh, all the month, so we started in New York, and we will be here for a month for the same reason, for networking. And yeah, networking. basically, yeah, to, to meet people, and I don't know. I you never know what Francisco happens. is good for events. But you probably, wouldn't you prefer meeting people from London that you then can Correct? Or would you do it internationally? For our job, it's, it's fine. Yeah. It's international because uh, you can work wherever you want. So the thing is, as, as we said, at the moment we are trying to avoid client work. So um, it doesn't really matter if. We meet people in London or in the US or whenever, I mean, uh, wherever it is, we don't mind because what we are looking for are people um, with which we could, I don't know, create an opportunity more than get than getting a, a client. Yeah. Uh, we'd like to, to meet people that, I don't know, to I don't really know how to explain it, but it's not just about clients. We're we're not only looking for clients. 
we are looking for opportunity there. Yeah. Uh, are you are you referring to the good the good ideas that still uh, need to be made as apps, or are you more uh, looking for interesting people to uh, get both? Some? Both. Yeah. yeah. So if somebody is an interesting person and has a great idea and comes to you and say, well, I want to collaborate. Yeah. 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 Why not? Or. Maybe we should talk about something bigger. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, getting back to uh, WWC, yeah. any, any more wishes on the wish list for Christmas and Easter and yeah, everything okay. that comes together at like, WWC? Uh, I don't really know. I, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, to be honest, I didn't think about it that much. Because I, I'm just happy to be here. And yeah, the, the, the yeah. thing is that uh, it's the fifth. WWDC. The fifth already. The fifth, yeah. yeah, already. Oh, that, that's where the beard comes from. You're so aged. <laughs> man, right? yeah. so old. I look oh, really aged, but yeah, I started yeah. really young. Well, yeah. if, if, it, if you've been to WWC five years already, yeah. that means you are, are, are going to it longer than iOS 16, right? Yeah, definitely. The first time I went here uh, was for Mac development. Uh, years after, I think. It, so you, yeah. you can tell us, did it change much? Did iOS bring sure. kind of other people or other, other topics? Or I think at the beginning it? was with really less people. <laughs> uh -huh. Really less people, like 1,000, 1,000. Anyway, uh, and they, I think Apple uh, cared a lot of, not more about every single thing. So like, for instance, like the T-shirt, you know, is every other thing. At the beginning they had, they had No, they, it's, 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 it's that they care more about the it's, it's conference. It's interesting yeah. because last year yeah. uh, people complained that uh, the sweater didn't yeah. have any pockets. Yeah, yeah. And so that was one of the things that, that fall prey to uh, saving money. Having so many people, no, we yeah. can't afford pockets anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I know it's funny. Anyway, uh, it just seems that Apple care less about the, the, the little things about the conference itself. They care more about the... Um, and the session. Well, do, do, you, do you think that might be because uh, if, if you do, if you spend like hundred dollars or, or, or ten dollars even more on on one person at WWC that multiplies by thousands so Apple just cannot afford it? Or we are paying for the conference. Yeah, a lot. Oh, you, you'd rather pay like hundred dollars more and get really no, nice no. I don't care. So I think I think it's nice. Uh, I think I'm okay. Be more generous. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no, I'm joking. About about the conference anyway. I think uh, there were really more. Oh, the go yeah, the GoPro! Let's, let's, I let's think change the best part of the... <laughs> 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 let's let me mount it. Ah, is this still working? Yes, yes. It's just... Let's see. Ah, is this, this Californian road? <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see if we have like... It should, it should be working. On the front, check. Ah. It's... I think it's still recording. It should be. Okay. Because it's not, yeah. it's an experiment. If it doesn't turn out, yeah, nothing. Yeah. We we still have the trip back. Yeah. <laughs> we have to repeat yeah. everything that no. we talked about. No. <laughs> Can you check the the, the road? The yeah, sure. Game. I'm, I'm I'm always checking. Okay. It's e exit 398B. Okay. Yeah. And Just want to make sure not to miss it. Yeah. So <laughs> Google Maps. I'm yeah. always checking here. Um, we are now uh, passing Palo Alto. Yeah, this exactly. town. It's the reason why I thought we were close. Actually, we, I think we're getting close. It's like two or three exits now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 400. It's yeah. Well, uh, I, I for one, there's, there's many, many. Uh, if, you, if you look at the SDKs, there, there are many holes where you think, hmm, there should be more there. Yeah. yeah? Like, to give a couple of examples. One is the accounts framework. Yeah. Now in the accounts framework, um, 
it, it, it's a cool idea to maybe uh, be able to remove keychain wrappers or anything, but just put accounts into accounts. Yeah. But you cannot do that so far because um, uh, you, you can create uh, your own custom account types, I think. I'm not exactly sh sure, but because you have AC account, uh, email group identifier or something like that, um, or with an account type. And I think you, you don't get anything back if it's not the one for Twitter. So what probably will be, and you kind of see the intention there, that you will have other uh, maybe social networks or other uh, services also in included there, like Facebook and somebody even joked only half, because that, that could, could just as well also happen, like MySpace or I don't know what, what other, other sharing networks there are, there are quite a few, like even Evernote or Instagram, Instapaper, Instagram, anything could go in there. And then the second thing is, um, I think we now need to somehow go to the right, okay. towards Santa Cruz, Cupertino, Cupertino Junction, quarter mile. I think we are missing our exit if you don't go. Or do you? Uh, there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you somehow see how long we've been driving so far? Uh, like I guess 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes, okay. Um, and the other thing that's quite interesting, there's this rumor uh, that Apple will eventually, or maybe even next week, give us an SDK for, for uh, Apple TV. Yeah. Either the Apple TV box or maybe a big Apple TV. Yeah, exactly. That's why there are 43 to be announced sessions. And one of the, the things... Uh, uh, I think you have the wrong one. No, no. Yeah. I, think, I think you're okay. 85. Three, 398 was the next one. This one is... It's on Google Maps. We are on track. You sure? Yes. Be <laughs> look. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just that I've never... I mean... Sorry. And you drive five miles on this. Um, yeah, and yeah, the there's bigger. One, one, one thing that I'm actually hints to yeah. what that is, you know, a UI interface idiom, yeah. where you can have a pad or a phone, and I'm, I'm kind of thinking they probably will be doing one for a UI interface idiom TV, TV yeah. and then you can have the same universal app running on. I'm not sure. I think that, that if they release an uh, Apple TV and SDK to develop apps, I think it's not Objective C. I think it's more like the, the actual TV with widgets, and you can interact with your apps from iPhone and that. Are you you thinking I that think it, that you will not develop apps, but you will yeah. develop widgets? Yeah, I think it's easier in this way. But I don't know, uh, there, there are a couple of apps already on the Apple TV for some networks, and they, those are iOS apps. iOS apps. Yeah. Okay. But the other thing, it's a good point. We we might actually see sometime, maybe even just now, uh, a, a way to create widgets for yeah. the lock screen. Yeah. You know, maybe even in dash code. Probably. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But on the Apple TV, if you make up iOS apps, I think it should be really good. Yeah. It's something you know, I, I benchmarked, and actually the, the uh, iPad 3 yeah. is uh, not not really much faster in decompressing JPEGs than uh, the I, iPad 2 was. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. well, there, there is a new processor in the iPad yeah, 3, yeah, yeah. but it's, it still takes the same time. Yeah. So. My, my feeling is that they didn't optimize there. We, we hope that. We, we Are you going to ask it to them? 
yes, I would. <laughs> yeah, I would probably. I, I was thinking maybe maybe they forgot about it, and so I was uh, hoping in in five or one or what was the one five one uh, that, that was the first update for iPad that they would maybe add it, but my benchmark showed that they didn't. So th there's one thing that that uh, is better uh, yeah. in performance that is P P and Gs. Yeah. Uh, they are like twice as fast. But if, if you have big JPEGs for saving space and uh, many uh, catalogs, for example, I know that because I have a uh, catalog framework, yeah. um, but also magazines would use JPEGs uh, for the individual pages. Uh, and those don't really benefit from the better processor in the iPad 3. Uh, they would if they were PNGs, but then they would be uh, much, bigger. much, much bigger. Yeah. So one, one of the, the catalogs, um, I catalog might be 30 megabytes for say 30 pages. Um, I will need to check that we get the right next step. Merge onto I, I280 South toward San Jose. Exit 19A. We are like two blocks away from our exit. Well, the, the another thing, we are using Google Maps here all the time, one of the rumors being the dropping yeah, drop of Google Maps. You think this is can be true? To be? I know. So, here's an exit. No, I know a, a person that works in Mac, in Apple. So I just write him if you can be with that. <laughs> so we can, we can ask. No, really. <laughs> Don't, don't say any names. Is this no, an exit no, no, no. or...? Uh, not yet. Okay. There is a, a large junction that comes up after this one. Okay. I think. Okay, yeah, sorry, sure. Okay. Cupertino second exit. So... On the merge into I-280 south towards San Jose. 